All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log of nine to the power of x is equal to log of 36. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So now I have b times log a. So log nine to the power of x move x to the front, front, so now I have x times log 9 is equal to log 36. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log of 9. So then these two cancel out. Now I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. So 36 I can rewrite as log of 9 times 4. So I have log of 9 times 4 over log 9. Now this is the same thing as if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 9 times 4, that's going to equal log of 9 plus log of 4. And I have this over log of 9. And this is equal to log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. So now I can rewrite log 4 as log of 2 squared. And I can rewrite log 9 as log of 3 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log of a to the power b, you can move this exponent to b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So now I can move 2 to the front for this and 2 to the front for this. Now I have x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3. If I cancel these two out, I get x is equal to log 2 over log 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 1,000. So I'm going to first start by factoring out 5 to the power of x. So now I have 5 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1,000. Now if I simplify what's in the parentheses, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 4. So I have 5 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1,000. Now I can divide both sides by 4. So then these two cancel out, and now I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 1,000 divided by 4, which is 250. Now, 250, I can rewrite this as 25 times 10. So I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 25 times 10. And 25, that's the same thing as 5 squared. So now I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 squared times 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log of 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 squared times 10.
And now an important rule to note down is that if I have something in the form log a to the power b, I can actually move this exponent of b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x, and we can think of x as b in this case. So I can simply move x to the front. So now I'm going to have x times log 5 is equal to log of 5 squared times 10. Now, we obviously want to find the value of x. So to do that, we're going to have to isolate it. And to isolate x, we're going to have to get rid of this log 5 by dividing both sides by log 5. So then these two log 5s cancel out, and then I get x is equal to log 5 squared times 10 over log 5. Now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 5 squared times 10, that's going to equal log 5 squared plus log 10. Now I have this over log 5. Now remember how if I have something in the form log AB, I can move this to the front. So now I have x is equal to 2 log 5 plus log 10 over log 5. And log 10 is equal to 1. So I have x is equal to 2 log 5 over log 5 plus 1 over log 5. These two cancel out, so I get x is equal to 2 plus 1 over log 5. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 40. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log of 4 to the power of x is equal to log of 40. Now, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 4 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I'm going to have x times log 4 is equal to log 40. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 4 so we can isolate x. So then these two log 4s cancel out, and I'm going to be left with x is equal to log 40 over log 4. Now we can rewrite log 40 as log of 4 times 10. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log of b. So log 4 times 10, that's going to equal log of 4 plus log of 10 over log 4. And if you guys already know, log 10, that's actually equal to 1. So I have x is equal to log 4 plus 1 over log 4. Now, I can rewrite this as log 4 over log 4 plus 1 over log 4. Now log 4 and log 4, these two cancel out. So I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 4. Now log 4, this is equal to 0 0.602. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 0.602. And 1 divided by 0 0.602 is 1.66. So 1 plus 1.66 is 2.66.